Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play Hitman 4 Blood Money. Great game, I love this game. I've played it several times. I've always played it on PC, and I'm recording this on a PS3. So I also have a new microphone. Hopefully that'll come out alright. I think it will. Uh, I did have a run through the training level, which I hate. I honestly hate the training level. Uh, but it didn't come out very well for a number of reasons. Um, partly because I didn't really understand the control system. Have I done something wrong there? I think so. I understand the control on this. So yeah, I didn't really understand the control system. And I, to walk, you just press the stick forward a little bit. I've got to say, I really don't like that control system. But that's what we've got, so we'll go with it. And what else did I do wrong? It's, it was far too loud, and the gunshots were clipping uh, on the recording. And I was recording the voice in on the microphone I'm using. I had that all set up wrong as well. So we'll just start it again. It was a pretty bad run through anyway. So we want everything far, far lower. We'll go, we'll try and have the speech a little bit higher. We'll see how that works, I think we'll be all right. So controls, annoyingly, the bit I want to change is walk. And there isn't an option to change, uh, move the stick forward to walk. So there you go. I don't think with the H, the general sort of uh, perception is that they haven't done that much HDing for it. I think that's true. I don't think they've done that much adapting for the PS3 controller either. We're going to play on normal. I think it's that much more fun on Expert or Pro. Confirmed reports of an accident at Southland Park. I can't find my boy! Hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted the park today to commemorate the second anniversary of the Southland Park tragedy. The children attended the children. full investigation of the park's safety. Authorities procedures. report at least 30 deaths and close to 100 Five years injuries. since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park, but new evidence is claiming malicious prosecution and believes he'll be he vindicated at last. Penny of his fortune the so-called legal eagles from these dream team defending Southland Park only oh, joke. <laughs> there were people flying everywhere. It was Body parts. And the victim's Blood. families oh have God. vowed it to was... appeal the decision. Not guilty. Cleared of all charges. So loading times are very impressively quick. It's a bit annoying actually, because uh, first time I recorded, I started explaining things, and then this happened. So there's a number of reasons I really don't like this level. Mostly, I think it's because they wanted to show 
as many things off as possible, which I guess is sensible. Welcome to the, the general States, tone of this level. This should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. So there's a number of things that make this level completely unlike any other level. This thing about showing him the photograph, I don't think that comes up in any other mission. And I couldn't work out how to do it. Um, which isn't a major problem, but... Like this thing here, what's about to happen doesn't happen on any other level or anything like it. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King. Oh, that <laughs> sorry ass dig here. What the fuck they call you? Names of a friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> oh. Oh. So if you're unfamiliar with the Hitman games, you're meant to be stealthy and kill as few people as possible. But this level is determined that you're going to kill everything as much as possible. It's absolutely bizarre. Um, but there's not a lot. What's wrong button? There's not a lot we can actually do about it. We've just got to go with it. Give all the motherfucker! Don't you know shit, nigga? The voice lawyers ain't gonna prosecute your bony black ass. The voice lawyers don't do shit but fuck a brother over when his bitch run off. Old swing was mad. Who'd want to fuck that weasel ass motherfucker? Used to be rich. Well, he's spooked bitch now. Exactly why his old lady is divorcing his ass. So you think your crackers are cop or what? Man, I got to get my ass around some educated motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. He probably a lawyer. So we know there's a lawyer here because we've seen his taxi. And we also learn that the Swing King is getting divorced, which is very sad. Now, the throw controls, you have to press the L3 stick in, which is really bizarre. I didn't realise that in my first run through. Let's check it out. going to change my sounds here. I want the music down further. I want the speech up further. I think I want the movies up further. We'll try more than that. Sorry about this, this is all a bit amateur, isn't it? Well, I am an amateur. I swear to God, I am just a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I won't lie. This shit's gonna hurt real bad. But you've got to get me out of the pain, motherfucker. You've got to transcend that shit and embrace the fire because the burn is going to set you free. I've got the papers in my briefcase. <laughs> That's your worldly shit, Jackson. I don't care about no worldly shit. I'm doing God's work here, motherfucker. And your soul ain't got no motherfucking papers. I represent Mr. Clarence's... Mr. Swing King's wife. 
all that law school, and now you're just some cracker bitches errand boy. And here I am, about to light your ass on fire. Life is one long, dark comedy, motherfucker, ain't it? I'm just here to get his signature on their divorce papers. Ain't it just like Spook to get his shit mixed up like this? Why, he's one paranoid motherfucker. Bet you're a lawyer. Well, lawyers need purifying, too. And you're ready. Help! Help me! Help! Help me! Oh, no. No. So, yeah, that was pretty friggin' brutal. I guess at least he didn't chop his ear off. He didn't go the whole, uh, what's it called? Resident Dogs? I can't remember. Reservoir Dogs. I really don't like that film. I don't think it's very good. But yeah, clearly inspired by the old Reservoir Dogs there. So they introduced this sort of pseudo platformy thing where you can climb up on boxes and jump across ledges and up drain pipes. Honestly, it's quite easy to climb and leap over things that you really don't mean to. Are right, we just going to use this shotgun here? So there's another new thing they've added in this game, which is you can hide people in boxes. It's a lot neater than in the earlier games, you had a sort of a bottle of stuff that you poured over the corpses and then they disappeared, which was a bit daft. So this is a really neat little solution. What the fuck happened here? So this is another new mechanic here, the ability to hide in cupboards and the like. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. So most of the game you can dress up in anybody's costume, but in this tutorial level I think there's only this one you can dress as. Um, in general, I like to be one of the better uh, guards because they can go most places and carry weapons without too much suspicion but in this tutorial we're stuck as the chemist I'm just gonna stick a save in um, because the disguises are quite temperamental not as much as in Hitman 2 where they were very very temperamental but they are Now, I don't think the difference between walking and running in this game is quite as much as it is in all the other Hitmen, but in general, we will we'll walk if we can get away with it. So if you look at that exclamation mark down the bottom left, that is how suspicious people are of us. So at the moment, we're green. They're not too suspicious. Now, in a minute, we're going to get frisked. Um, so, you can be able to do this in certainly Hitman 2. You can hide weapons in certain things and then use, like, uh, like your character would normally... The character you're dressed as would carry around. And then if you're frisked, they don't normally search what you're carrying. Gotta check you, white bread. It's a shame that they don't expect chemists to carry weapons. I think chemists should be allowed to carry all the weapons they want. I always carry a pen knife to work. I'm a chemist, I'm a pharmacist. And there was one girl that was like, oh, you can't do that. Oh, no. Well, in case I go on I can get rampage. the money, sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. The 
won't see that sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come through, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? So, we don't really want baking soda. What we really want was just a cover for our gun. So this is another little improvement that they made. You can strangle people through the trapdoor on the lifts and you drag them up onto the top of the lift. Which is very useful when it works. Don't know why I needed to hit her, she didn't break the lights. Hey! Ah, now I'm going to have to check the controls here because I don't remember how to do this. Ah, I've left it open on the right page. Hmm. We've got the controls here. I genuinely have no idea what I meant to press. I've got crouch, sneak, map, fire weapon, slash attack, reload. Drop item, pick up item, action. Must be action. Well, it's got inventory, change camera, pause, mission briefing. Mission briefing, I wonder if that has controls in it. With a handgun equipped, stand behind a victim and press X to take the victim as a human shield. So we need a handgun, which is fortunate because I do actually have one. Don't kill me. Oh, there you go, that works. Fired off an extra bullet then. Anyone else want to get involved? Ah, he took a lot of shots. Can I reload? No. Oh, well, you me. can. That's neat. Can I open the door? Yeah. I could go through the whole level like this. So this is another new thing that I did in Hitman 4. You need to make sure there are absolutely no witnesses. I don't think there are. I don't... Ah, oh, you see me now. You need to make sure there are no witnesses in Hitman 4. In general, you do that by being sneaky, but that's not an option in this level. I don't want to die, man! Don't kill me! Whoops, I'm climbing over something there. Where have they gone? Down here. Can I shoot the propane canister? Answer, no, I can't. I can't shoot to save my life. Still, I'm pretty sure they're all dead me. now. Yeah, we'll kill you. Hopefully, you've got some weapons. Good, you have. There's someone else in here. I can hear her screaming. Right, hopefully, then, that's everybody. Yeah, because my um, anger meter is going down now. Take note, this is not how to play the rest of the game. Oh, 
Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to loot them first. Still, that seemed to work as well as it should. So let's stick a save in. I always add too many saves, really. But you've got seven to use a level. And I figure some of these things are so temperamental, it's very easy to fail. So we might as well stick saves in. It's uh, It's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was, it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash and... Uh, and uh, I know the what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal, and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to, but, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away, necessarily, but, you know, I'd appreciate it. No. <laughs> so this baddie with the ferris wheel he's actually being exploited by someone else so i feel a little bit bad for him but although they try and keep humanizing hitman at the end of the day you're there to kill things it's hard to humanize him really I don't know if there's a steady aim button. <sighs> now before he was over here. Ah, oh, there he is. So that's the benefit of playing the level twice. Love the sniper rifle. Ladder controls in games always suck. This is no exception. I don't know why, it's very difficult to get ladders right. I'm just trying to think of any games where I thought, yeah, that ladder works really nicely. No interesting things, doesn't look like it. So in a lot of the levels, you'll go through metal detectors and the like, and somewhere on the level, they'll be hidden this box with all the weapons that you choose to take, but they'll set off the metal detector. Now here is the probably the biggest improvement along with the body thing. You can shove people off the world. Ooh. Quite difficult, but it is technically possible. A bum. Sure he's not. Thanks, Carolan. That's all. Are you alright? Yeah, fine. Go on. So you could actually poison drinks throughout all the games. Um, yeah. Poison drinks and food. It works a lot better in this one. Be okay, I'll leave. Mostly because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm if not allowed to be leave, anywhere right near. Now, I'm calling the cops. Ah, oh, shit. I think we're over. Right. We'll try and do it as fast as possible. Okay, that wasn't what I was intending to do. I wonder if she's dead. 
There's no little red cross, so we'll assume yes, she is. But who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. No. Please. No. Oh. Have I well, we suffered did it. enough? I, don't did it a you lot think I know how playthrough. much suffering I'm responsible for? How shall we execute him? Poison? That's the least messy way, I isn't it? I can't sleep! I haven't slept in... the guilt I feel! Mind you, if we take I'm one to the so end of the level, as I don't really know how I getting know new, weapons, new weapons works. But certainly if you carry a weapon to the end of the level, it becomes part of your permanent inventory, I think. So are there any more guards out here? No, it looks like I've killed everything. Oh, that's right, it's one more part to this level before we're done. This is quite cool. So again, all these things are really just showing you all the different mechanics in the game. But the tutorial has worked a lot better this time than it did last run through. Mostly because I learned the controls, I think. So this is a very cool little thing. Yeah, These mines, some you can place them in various things, well. in suitcases, you know, on winches, like or you can just drop them on the floor and blow them up. They're really, really cool. Um, you definitely had them on Hitman 2, but they work a bit better on this, I reckon. There's just more places you can use them. It was my orders that caused the problem. Oh, I should have listened to them, shouldn't I? Oh, silly. Oh, where's my, where's my rifle? I need my rifle. And at least we're well away from that bomb. We don't want to get involved in that. Oh, what have I done with it? There we go. I think someone's about to bang on my door in about three seconds in real life. Ah, find the exit. So it must have had extra people to kill, but they're all dead now. There are two people alive down there. And there's a whole bunch of people in the middle of the world. I think there's someone yelling at me out the window. Just a second. Alright, sorry about that. Who's down here? Oh, we don't need to kill her. Who else is down here? Snoop Doggy Dog. We need to kill Snoop Doggy Dog. Oh, I think they just saw me. Right, what weapons have I got? Machine gun. This is a panic mode. That is absolute grade A panic mode. But we can't leave any witnesses. Where's the girl? She might have seen me as well. Jesus. How powerful is the Desert Eagle? Right, hopefully there's no more witnesses. Deranged Slayer, Massacre's 25. That's a bit harsh. Joseph Clarence killed. Police suspect blood money is involved. Baltimore Police Department confirmed this morning that former theme park tycoon Joseph Clarence was killed at the closed theme park, Southland Amusement Park, last night. Mr. Clarence was believed to be the victim in an episode that caused 24 additional deaths 
amongst the others killed were eight innocent bystanders. Sixteen security professionals working for Mr Clarence were also killed. Police tend to put a low priority on investigating the deaths of armed security and guard personnel. Investigators also report that 55 shots were fired by the assassin, judging from bullet holes and cartridges found on the crime scene. A comparison of the shots and the wounds on the victims has led to the assumption that the shooter is a talented marksman. Few shots were wasted. Residents in the area have reported that they heard a succession of what sounded like gunshots. Investigators found 9mm cartridges around the area, indicating that a pistol, possibly of the type SLP-40, may have been used for the murder. It concerns the authorities that six of the victims were brutally executed by shots to the head. Two of the victims were found dead in mysterious circumstances. Forensic scientists are now working to determine if the cause of death was natural or foul play. So that will be the man we pushed off the bridge and the poison. The discovery of seven hidden bodies, several hidden bodies, indicate that this is the work of a criminal. Baltimore Police Department are at the moment questioning a witness that escaped the scene alive. The witness describes the perpetrator as a comedian because the person was caught trying to enter a restricted area wearing a disguise. Was I? I don't remember that. The police have absolutely no clue of the killer's appearance as nobody claims to have seen him or her. Joseph Clarence was one of the region's most colourful personalities in the 80s and 90s and no Southland social event was complete without his attendance. Handsome, charming, witty and successful, he radiated success. So it looks like there was a witness. We can probably find our stats somewhere and see if we really did get a witness. Okay, we'll stick a save in there. And I'm going to leave it there, so thank you for watching. The rest of the game is a lot better than the first level, I think. Whether we'll do better or not, I wouldn't like to say. But that is the end. Thank you for watching, and come back for the next episode of Hitman 4.